The chair now recognizes the gentlewoman from North Carolina, Ms. Fox, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the American people are at their wits' end. They fear that our great country has fallen into a state of disrepair, the likes of which have never been seen before. They've watched as our time-tested institutions have become engulfed by a smog of bureaucratic rot. They have gathered at their kitchen tables for nights on end, wondering how much further they can stretch their budgets to support their families. All the while, Washington has trudged onward with more spending schemes and irresponsible policies that are poisoning America. Mr. Speaker, I cannot overstate the severity of the catastrophes that this administration has created. From the southern border being overrun to inflation that has robbed hardworking Americans and their families, no matter where you turn, the carnage is palpable. Republicans are taking a stand to end this madness and move America in the right direction. That starts with our commitment to America. The American people deserve an economy that is strong, a nation that is safe, a future built on freedom, and a government that is accountable. These are the tenets of the commitment to America. Mr. Speaker, let me be clear the American people can no longer afford one-party Democrat rule in Washington. Under one-party rule, Americans are bearing the brunt of 40-year high inflation. Crime has exploded in major cities across the entire country. Millions of illegal aliens have poured across the southern border. Gas and grocery prices are growing by leaps and bounds. The list goes on and on, Mr. Speaker. There's no denying that. Americans are not witnessing progress under one-party rule. They're watching our republic crumble by the second. It's time for a serious change in leadership in Washington. No more reckless spending. No more policies that are antithetical to the will of the American people. No more bureaucratic assaults on the freedoms and values that this country was built upon. Mr. Speaker, the American people deserve much better than the hand that Washington Democrats have dealt them. In a few short weeks, Americans across the country will make their voices heard, and I can guarantee you that they will not speak softly. The disarray, incompetence, and negligence in Washington must be put to an end. It's time that Washington truly delivers on the priorities of hardworking taxpayers and families across our country. There's not a second to lose. I yield back. Chair now recognizes the gentleman.